Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here with the HP EliteBook 2540P. If you follow uh, the EliteBook line or Enterprise Notebooks, you'll know this is HP's highest end 12-inch business notebook. So the EliteBook is above the ProBooks, which is above the, uh, you know, kind of the consumer line and the uh, entry-level business stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is replacing the HP 2530P. Uh, it's also a 12-inch ultra-portable, which is a, a lot like this one, except it's not uh, core i5 and i7 powered like the 2540P. The uh, chassis is largely unchanged, but uh, the, the chassis and the, on the, uh, sorry, the chassis on the 2530P was, was really fantastic. So uh, they really didn't have to change a whole lot. We still see the brushed aluminum cover. This is uh, bonded to magnesium, so it uh, it looks really nice because it is that aluminum. We'll see if we can get some of the grain there. Might be hard to pick up. And then it's uh, bonded to magnesium, so it's nice and tough. The, uh, it's a full mag chassis, all metal. Here we see uh, extended battery right there. Got a full charge. The computer starts at about 3.3 pounds, uh, spec like this. Uh, you're going to see it more towards 4 pounds. It goes from 1.1 to 1.3 inches thick, so it is a little bit on the thick side given this size, you know, 12 inch, but it is uh, nice and sturdy. Uh, HP made sure to do some rugged, the uh, mil spec, a uh, mil standard 810G testing on this, so uh, you check out the review for details. And then, uh, Actually, let's look at the ports real quick. Uh, the big deal with this one is this is a 12-inch with an optical drive. So uh, that's going to be a big selling point for some people. And it's definitely an advantage this has, has over the its main competitor, the ThinkPad X201. The uh, optical drive doesn't come on all configurations. New for this year, the 2540P can get a Core i5 standard voltage processor the 540M, and if you do that config, which actually only starts at 1099, you don't get that optical drive. So uh, that's going to be a big selling point. This configuration uh, is about 1629, and it has 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, HT, uh, sorry, Intel HD integrated graphics, uh, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, 250 gigabytes of storage, and it runs the... Uh, Intel Core i7 640LM processor. Yeah. Uh, back to those ports. Optical drive. Powered USB. Modem. Power. Two USB slots kind of hidden back there. There is your Ethernet. It's your port replicator. Kensington lock port. Display port. VGA. Headset, that's Firewire, and then we have a card reader right there. Right here we have your express card slot, so this thing is really crammed with ports, which is awesome to see on something so small. Up front, the main feature is a latch, so that's a, that's a security feature. The latch, uh, you can see what it pops onto. It holds onto this metal piece right here. Sorry, it's getting the, my tripod's getting in the way. Uh, that post right there keeps it shut. And right here we have a little light that pops out. Just like the Think Light, although I'm sure HP didn't borrow that idea or anything. Inside we see a uh, nice brushed aluminum palm rest, dual cursor controls, just like on the ThinkPad, although you only have a single button here instead of three for the track stick. There is our fingerprint reader. And then we have, it's a nice keyboard. It's not uh, isolated keyboard keys or anything like that, but uh, it does it does its job really well. Also, we can see here's the computer folded. So uh, super versatile. This is a uh, 180 degrees plus. So uh, you could fold it back if that comes in handy. I don't know. Maybe if you're using a computer in bed or something like that.
yeah, so uh, that really covers it. You can check out geek.com for the full review, but this is a, a nice quick look at the HP 2540P Elite Book. It's a high-end business notebook, and if you're looking for a 12-inch, uh, this is one of the top options on the market right now. This is Sal Congelso from geek.com. Thanks for watching.